and come to this motorcycle you will be much more confident and you won't drop this motorcycle that's my suggestion and if you are someone who is already on a 150 cc or even on a 300 cc motorcycle you have quite a lot of possibilities you might be looking out for a, a city motorcycle or you might be looking for a highway touring motorcycle what's up youtube welcome back to another review on this channel so today we have the royal enfield interceptor 650 the two the latest 2023 model so let's look at the changes compared to the previous version there aren't any major changes compared to the performance or the handling but there are few so let's look into the changes first and i'll talk about the feel of the changes and after that i'll give you a general review of the motorcycle so first of all the main change is the headlight the headlight has came from the super meteor so this was getting a a normal halogen light before uh, in my opinion actually the halogen light was performing better than the leds but the look has been changed it has been killer in looks now but basically it's just the headlights that is led rest of the tail light the indicators everything are normal halogens only and the next major update is a tubeless tires and the alloy wheel setup so basically that is not changing too much of the riding dynamics the weight is almost same so the handling is almost same coming to this side we have the whole powder coated the black color variant of the interceptor 650p until now we were getting a chrome finish one which was having too much chrome the problem with the chrome is is a little difficult to maintain you know, if you are especially living in some in areas where you get a lot of rainfall so now you have this black color one and which looks really really nice and another one small update that is coming in this way in this that we get a hazard lamp switch over here that's one addition basically the switch gears are now from the super meter 650 so hazard light also is a good thing and another one thing is here we get a normal usb charging port that is also normal usb charger so it's not a fast charger it's a normal charger so these are the changes when compared to the previous bike and you might be noticed that there is one person who is looking at this review which is the triumph street twin actually i don't know how to talk about the relationship between these two motorcycles <laughs> you can comment on that so let's come back to this motorcycle basically this motorcycle has become more desirable in terms of look look at that motorcycle i mean look at the triumph look at the royal enfield in this car royal enfield still offers the previous variant that is also good thing if you like too much of chrome in your daily diet you can go ahead with it uh, so let's talk about the few of the performance things uh, the suspension travel i'm a little scared about the suspension travel nowadays because i started riding this motorcycle a little faster on bumpy roads and the suspension travel is not great it start hitting everywhere the brakes are good i like it beginner friendly brakes the feedback on the tire is it is not so great the high speed confidence is not so good braking is also not good so i strongly suggest if you are buying this motorcycle better look out for a different good set of rubbers and coming to this side we have the same 650 cc engine which is one of the sweetest engine of the 650 cc it is not that fastest among the 650s definitely but it gives you a very nice feel with that royal enfield touch that it's a cruiser kind of an engine and this set is very long actually I was actually riding with my pillion a couple of days back and I was sitting over here and my pillion is sitting over here and uh, she was telling me that there is ample and enough space in between us so in a way if you are on to a little chubby side even if your uh, pillion is on to chubby side then the seat is going to accommodate but only one thing is I have a feedback that seat is not actually wide it is long it is not wide so let me just get on the motorcycle so by the way it's not a very tall motorcycle you can see that plant of foot on both sides and we have to put a little bit of lean angle for the riding posture so if this is my normal riding stance a little bit of lean angle and we can sit like that and one more thing is like we have to keep our legs a little stretched out the thing is because this foot pegs are actually coming and touching our calf area too much so that's kind of a disturbance especially when you are going in bumper to bumper traffic so if i have to walk you through the switches on the handlebar here we have the high beam low beam and the pass switch indicator and the horn and this side we have the engine switch and the caution lamp and as i mentioned here there is a usb charger and this twin pod exhaust has been here for ages so this is the one which is actually claiming for an update so what it shows is fuel level indicator which is which is not really accurate from the beginning an odometer two trip meters basic things uh, but that look is good i feel like there could be a lot of things which royal feet can pack in this dial all right we are on highway That's how the engine responds when you actually whack open the throttle. So to be honest, this is not the way that we should ride this motorcycle. So this is just like any other Enfield, but it's powerful. So the Enfield has always given us a feel that you just sit and relax and enjoy the ride. 
that same rule applicable for this motorcycle as well so even though it's a 650cc motor the feel that this motorcycle gives us uh, like a cruiser motorcycle so, uh, 80 to 110 on the highway it just sweetly pulls like that and whenever you want to overtake just open it and you get that punch so you don't have to really ring it out because when you go to the top end there is not much power you can extract from that so the mid rpm is the strongest portion of this motorcycle so that's how the engine smoothly goes in and there are absolutely no vibration from the engine not even a pinch of it and if you ask me if there are uh, heating issues yes there are a little bit of heating issues this is a brand new motorcycle so i i have to expect a little more heating so once serviced i believe that the heating will come down a little bit so basically i can feel the heating on this side and i can feel the heat actually going under my thighs and i can feel it over here so, so basically it heats up after five to ten minutes of ride inside city and on the highway as well i have a slight feeling that there is a little bit of heating since the motorcycle is moving i don't have to really worried about it and to talk about the riding ergonomics so this one has a commanding riding posture as i mentioned this is not a sit back riding posture we have a little more sporty riding feel to the handlebar not too much the right amount you need for high speeds and cornering so in my opinion you have a lot of control on the motorcycle but the thing is the tires the tires are not actually gripping it well and the suspension actually bottoms up really well if you have to uh, run through bad patch of road or even if there is minor undulations on the road we'll get to know that and as i mentioned the brakes are good actually the braking feel is good just the front brake is enough to bring down this motorcycle from whatever speed it can go but still since the tires are not holding up well the abs might kick in a little earlier and to talk about the clutch feel the clutch feel is little onto a harder side but this time the gearbox is like super smooth i didn't had any false neutrals or any trouble riding this motorcycle until now and the shifting is also very smooth it has become so smooth i cannot express how it is now so i believe that if we maintain the chain and the health of the motorcycle then probably you won't be having any problem with shifting and there are no absolutely no problem in finding the neutral uh, while stopping the signal on all and if you ask me if there are wind blast issues yeah obviously this is a naked motorcycle so we have to expect now also i can feel a lot of wind blast it's around 80 km per hour and uh, still we can feel that wind and there are no ground clearance issues till now and actually this motorcycle comes on road this color variant actually comes on road for 3.7 lakh on road if you ask me if it's a value for money in my opinion i'll say that it is a good buy i don't say it is kind of a steel day royal field could have made it like a steel day imagine this motorcycle comes with a ride by wire throttle that means a little more responsive throttle and a lot of information on the dash some riding modes and all led lights like the tail lights and indicators then probably i i would have told that this is a value for money like a steel deal so in my opinion 3.7 lakh for this kind of a motorcycle means good and the main part the main part which surprised me is like the service cost so the servicing is done once in 10000 kilometers general service and each service will cost something like 2500 or max 3000 rupees i have checked in internet forums and everywhere people are telling that the motorcycle can be serviced at a cost of 2200 to 2500 which is like dead cheap to maintain and to talk about the mileage i was getting something like 25 km per liter which is decent uh, with a mixed riding condition like city and highway so i believe that in city you might be getting something like 20 to 25 and on highways you can get something like a 25 to 28 km per liter so that's actually a very good mileage when compared to uh, other 650 cc's and that is actually a decent mileage when you compare with other motorcycle that you can buy for this price now let's come to the verdict so if you are someone who are actually upgrading it from a scooter or you are truly a beginner you don't have any experience in riding geared motorcycles then what i'll say is that uh, get some more experience in a 150 cc motorcycle a normal 150 cc or a commuter motorcycle and come to this because this is a much heavier motorcycle it is little difficult to take u-turns it is a little difficult to move around in the parking lot so once you're used to this heavier motorcycle then you'll start really start enjoying managing the weight of the motorcycle because you rightly get the weight of the motorcycle underneath you so the weight actually plays good when you're out on the road because it gives you a lot of stability but, but it's going to be a pain when you have to move around in slow speeds so in my opinion if you consider yourself as beginner just do some practice on a 150 cc for around six months and come to this motorcycle you will be much more confident and you won't drop this motorcycle that's my suggestion and if you are someone who is already on a 150 cc or even on a 300 cc motorcycle you have quite a lot of possibilities you might be looking out for a, a city motorcycle or you might be looking for a highway touring motorcycle if you are truly looking on a city riding motorcycle just see this clip and come back
all right so i know that you have been sent from the future to hear the city ride review of the interceptor 650 so basically if you ask me if it's a good motorcycle for the city i'll say that it's a decent motorcycle if you have good and empty roads and you can get into some good speed then it's a good motorcycle or if you are running on a bumper to bumper traffic you're gonna suffer a little bit i have to use that word suffer because you know uh, first of all it's not designed for that low speed running it's a two cylinder it's a 650 cc motorcycle and you see that that kind of suspension feel comes in so when you have broken roads and bumper to bumper traffic first of all you have to mostly run in the first or the second year i feel most of the time first year only not the second year so that's one trouble and uh, you have a little bit of uh, heavier clutch so you have to maneuver that and uh, the motorcycle is actually heavy so you end up spending a little more energy on managing the weight of the motorcycle and the power is actually not too much you can actually use it inside city not a big trouble but riding takes a little bit of effort and also a little bit of heating issue if you ride this motorcycle inside city in bumper to bumper traffic for around uh, 10 minutes then probably uh, you'll start facing the heat uh, especially from the right side so you see that that smaller bumps on the road itself is getting onto the rider so you won't feel too much comfortable riding the motorcycle in bumper to bumper traffic and bad roads for long so so if you have good roads in your city then go for it otherwise look for something better i think himalayan will be a better choice also one more thing like uh, you might have seen that people riding this motorcycle very competitively uh, inside city so i'm not telling that this is not a bike for uh, riding fast inside city but what i was telling is that if, if you are planning to ride like that then you probably end up spending a lot of energy in maneuvering the motorcycle like controlling it and uh, it's not impossible but uh, you can ask yourself whether it is worth all right now i assume that you have a mix of uh, city and highway riding then what i'll say is that this is going to be a good motorcycle especially if you're planning to travel with your pillion because the longer seat will give you an additional advantage that you can have a lot of luggage and uh, buy some saddle stays and things so that you can carry your luggage so on the highway actually this feels much better my humble suggestion to the people who are going to buy this motorcycle is that buy some good tires on this because this tire is not so great uh, compared to the previous version the Pirelli which this was coming in uh, in the initial days this don't have that wobbling issue absolutely no wobbling issue but the thing is the confidence when you are on high speeds and you have to apply brakes the brakes are also good but the thing is the tire will lock up the wheel much easily because the grip is not good i'm not sure about the wet grip because it didn't rain when i was riding dry grip itself is not that great so that's my personal feel so find a better tire for this so uh, once you start touring on this motorcycle so altogether i'll say a truly a good motorcycle to buy if you are considering for highway tours because the problem with the previous motorcycle was it was running on spoke wheels and if you get a puncture and all then you have to find a puncture shop and move the tire and do all sort of things now it's like you can fix your own puncture so that's the most advantage which i see with this motorcycle and plus if you're going out on highway in the night then um, consider buying an auxiliary light that's all so i hope this video is helpful for you and uh, if it has helped you in any way show some love in the form of likes and comments see you in the next video until then bye bye